This lesson we're going to look at statements, scripts, operators, and input. So first, what is a statement? A statement is a piece of code that Python can execute. Execute just means to run or process or calculate. So for example, a statement that we've seen so far is 10 plus 10. When we press enter or return, um, Python executes that or runs it and gives us the outcome. Um, so far we have seen assignment statements and print statements. Scripts. So far we've used idle's interactive mode. This is when you type one thing at a time and hit enter like I just showed you in idle. But this isn't how real computer programs work. To make a real computer program we have to write many lines of code in a document for the computer to execute. This file is called a script. How to make a script? You go to File, New File. Then you write your code, then you save it, then you run it. So let's just do a very quick example. Go to File, New File. Then let's make a program that um, says hello uh, 1000 times. So, the first thing I will do is create a variable called message with an assignment statement and inside that I will store the value hello, which is a string. Then, the next thing I want the computer to do is print with a print statement and I'll print the message. And I'll print it. Sorry, that's not a string. I will print that. 1,000 times. Okay, so then we have to save it. So we go to File and Save. Hello 1,000. Give it a name. Choose where you want to save it. Then click Save. And then to run this program, we go to Run. And we click Run Module. Or we can also use the keyboard shortcut F5. And there is our program, the output of our program. Hello 1000 times. So that's an example of a script. This is a script. A script contains a list of statements. If the statement has an output, it will appear one line at a time. So for example, a script that says print the number one then it creates a variable called x and stores the value 2 inside that variable and then prints that variable. When you run it, it will look like this. 1 and then 2. The second line in the top picture is an assignment statement. It has no output. That's why you don't see it when you run it. What is output? Output is something that the computer returns to us. So if we tell it to print happy birthday 10 times, as in this picture, the blue text is the output. Operators are special symbols for mathematical functions like plus or minus, or multiply or divide, or greater than or smaller than. You know most of these from week 1 when you used idle as a calculator. User input, this is where it starts to get interesting. A user is anyone who uses your program. User input is anything that the user types into a program using the keyboard in this case. Let's get some user input by using the input function. So I'm going to write this into idle now. So we can close that. Let's go down a little bit. Okay, first I'm going to create a variable called name. And I'm going to assign that variable the input of whatever the person types in response to this question. What 
is your name. Okay, and when I press enter, it will give us the question, so it outputs what is your name, I write my name, and click return. And nothing much seems to have happened, but what has happened is that my input has gone into this variable name. So if I print the variable name, what do you think will appear? Tony. So finally, let's create a script that asks for name, then says, then greets the user by name. So the first thing we need to do is create a variable called name and assign the input to the question, what is your name? Then print hello then we put a comma and then we put the variable name so let's save this and run it I'm going to press F5 to run so we can see that it's started it says what is your name I write my name and I press enter and it says hello Tony. So um, I would practice this by just copying this code here into um, a new script. This at the top in red is a description and it's marked by this hashtag here and this is for humans to read so I could type anything I want here and the computer will completely ignore it. It's just something so that when you look at code and there is a huge amount of code, this explains what the code does. So starting a line with a hashtag is some sort of description to help out the human who is reading it. And it's nothing to do with the computer.